Hello, welcome back to my channel. This is Sunday Club reacting to the draw that took place yesterday at St Andrews, Millwall, Birmingham City 2, Millwall 2. Let me just jump in to some horrific news that um, started, um, took place before the game. A Millwall fan was horrifically assaulted by a Birmingham fan. He was punched in the back of the head by this lowlife um with his family, in front of his family, he was punched in the back of the head, um, which made him hit the floor, um, hit his head on the floor, um, and he has now, it was rushed to hospital, so all thoughts and prayers go out to you, son, get well soon, and let's hope we can see you back down the den, um, when you're fighting fit again, hope everything's okay, um, you are in intensive care, I've heard, but, this this low life should be absolutely banned from football for life. Um, he was arrested straight away, and this fan was sixty and nine years old, and he just got completely assaulted. He basically went out to try and kill him. Basically, um, so yeah, enough of that. Get well soon, somewhere behind you. The club are behind you. The players are behind you. The fans are behind you. We all know what happened, um, and let's hope we see you back and then. Um, very very soon but getting into the game listen we know what's on the line we know what was on the line we know we know going into this game that it's, it weren't in our hands it weren't in our hands it's not in our hands we know that but we're still in the fight if we didn't if we don't win don't lose and we didn't and we didn't lose we managed to rescue a point which means we are still in the hunt we are still in the hunt we're three points behind Sheffield United, Sheffield United have got to go to Rangers and Fulham. So I will be supporting Rangers and Fulham whenever they play each other. So please do the business. I will also be supporting Cardiff who have got Middlesbrough at the week, um, in the week I do believe. But yeah, I will be supporting them two sides. But listen... It's about us. We're still in the race. We show great um, belief and togetherness to come back and nick something out of that game. Um, look, their penalty was soft. Their penalty was soft. Look, we we wasn't at our best today, yes, because of the yesterday. So because I can imagine the nerves were kicking in. Um, we wasn't the best. It wasn't the best performance. No, did we deserve to win? Probably not. No, but if we don't win. At this stage of the season when we're fighting for the playoffs, which we're still in it, by the way. We are still in it, believe. Um, just don't lose. Don't lose. We didn't lose. We showed great com togetherness, um, great um, um, belief, and we managed to nick a point thanks to a last-minute, 98th-minute penalty from Benic Afobi. Fans were absolutely superb. Fans were absolutely superb behind them all the way. Um, and look, we're not robots. We're not robots. Um, I, he did take out um, um, Billy Mitchell. Sorry, my mind went blank then. Billy Mitchell. I thought at the beginning of the game, I thought it was a good idea. But you could see, I watched the highlights over and over again. You could see without Billy in there, we don't retain the ball as much as we do with Billy in the team. Um, I thought it was a good decision at first because I think he, I thought he needed a rest. But it was quite clear to see um, if we didn't have Billy, we lose, uh, we don't win the game. Um, so is that was that the greatest decision on paper? Probably not. Um, but yeah, listen. Oli Burt's electric. He managed to get his second goal in a Millwall shirt. Second goal of the season. Um, yeah. He's electric. He's so quick. We need to do everything we can to sign him, in my opinion. We need to do everything we we can to sign Benica Phobie, in my opinion. Um, just, to, just to finish it off now. Um, uh, Chaggy, a.k.a. Scott Malone, has been ruled out for the rest of the season with an injury. So he... If we do make the playoffs, he will be nowhere to be seen. Um, he's ruled out um, for the rest of the season. 
he wasn't involved yesterday. He was in the crowd along with Jeb Wallace. They were both in the crowd. Jeb Wallace is injured. I think he's going to be back soon. The club are doing absolutely everything they can. They're trying very, 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 very hard to try and convince him to stay at the club. So let's see whether that can um, happen. We are... That's another video for another day. But listen, realistically, look, we didn't... If we didn't win, we didn't lose. And we took a point. And that point could be good. Look, we know it's not in our hands. We know we need Sheffield United to slip up. But like I said, they got to go to Rangers. So, yeah, stay positive. Stay behind the boys. See you on see you on Saturday. Let's smash Peterborough. Already relegated Peterborough 4 5 nil, And we can move. We'll, we'll see where we are come, come the end of that game. We move. Stay strong. Stay behind the boys. Keep believing, and we'll see where we are come May. If we don't do it this season, I really, 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 really do, in my opinion, think we'll do it this next season, without a doubt. Um, it finishes at St Andrews, Birmingham City 2, Mill 2. That Birmingham City fan, you're a scumbag.